nna mo ke nora akoko ma ke ze ego ihiala a popular ritualist onyo gu ego nka ma ara ma gbo gbo early 80s 90s ko si bi ende ya na kwa ko se nwo ni ke ka abandon property si ase de ta ni ihiala nna mo eno kwara ma ka lo si okuzu ana ka ke ka si koro ya ni si iwe ndidi ka koro ga akiko were nna nwa ya watch ya video na igi adi entertain aro si okuzu Ezi bota kwa ke zego hiala. Nko liva di koko na sadebe jima ki ya kuwebu. Aro si akuzo. Meto wama. E nube maka aro si akuzo. Na mpa mpa para na alo akuzo. Mwana. Jirin na waya ga akika. Neche me zego hiala kanki ya kanjo. Amam na aro si akuzo mekare ya. Ose na de top member na people's club nke Nigeria urew. O sadebe ame liva di koko ya. Jicha weti ya guno ga. Cha. Ihe mego kwa no wow. Mwana, watch go do video. The name John Ejikeme Nebolisa, who was popularly known as Alusi Okuzu, which translates to the oracle of the whole kingdom of Okuzu and Ibilebe Ogada, which means the biggest the town has ever seen, was a strong name amongst the cycles of the Ibo elites and multi billionaires of the 80s and 90s. He was a very good friend of the late Eze Ego of Ihiala and the almighty chief Maurice Ibekwe of Okwele Holdings. He was one of the pioneers and top members of People's Club of Nigeria in the 80s and 90s. A social club where all its members were multi billionaires but mostly with controversial source of income. To most Nigerians, billionaire members of this club were either involved in shady businesses, rituals, blood money and what have you. But these were mere speculations because there was never a proof. John Ejike Menobolisa aka Alusi Okuzu was one of their top members who was flowing in money. In fact, one of his bodyguards was the then Nigerian wrestler Superman Armstrong and this man believed his money could get him anything he wanted and desired and somehow he wasn't far from the truth because he went against all odds to break century long tradition by buying his way to the throne of the Okuzu kingdom, the first of its kind in Igbo land. This was a typical case of when money speaks, the whole world keeps short and listen. Hey, one expect a Wiptego new offer, cap or a champion season with over 2,000 winners. Register well with my promo code, Top Opens. He retired up to 300% bonus on your very first deposit. On your very first deposit. May you buy. You get a retail of $5,000. You can put it in. You can win a place to bet. The more. You can retail it. You can take it. May you buy. You can press it on the take back button. You can take it on the take back button. You can take it on the take back button. May you now. My watch the video. He made so much money then from his controversial businesses and also spent it as if it was going out of fashion. The late king of high life music, Oliver de Kook, as well as Prince Morocco Maduka, sang his praises to high heavens in their albums. In fact, Morocco Maduka at some point dedicated an entire album to him. Stay tuned to us to bring to you the interesting story of John. Ejike Menebolisa, aka Alusi Okuzu, the owner of the once popular journal Holiday Inn in Okuzu, how he forcefully bought his way to the throne, and one day he was killed mysteriously by what is believed to be the gods of the land in a shocking way while watching television with his family in his now abandoned house on Mutia Tukayode Street in Mafoloku Oshodi. In Lagos, Nigeria, and how his family abandoned the big house and all its belongings out of fear, including his country home and the once magnificent Jonop Holiday Inn, which has now been taken over by grasses. And it's been over 18 years since the death of Alusi Okuzu, but the Okuzu kingdom and its throne have had no peace. They currently have two kings, Igwe Charles and Ikweze who was installed by the then governor of Anambra state, Willie Obiano, in 2019, 
but wasn't accepted by the people and another king, Igwe Chibuike Okafo, who was made king in 2023 by the king's men. So the kingdom currently has two kings, which is very abnormal and absurd. <laughs> 